Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, what is up, it is Charlie here with another video for you guys and girls today. This video is actually sped up to about 120 because the intro to it was pretty boring apart from a load of trash talk going on between these two players because they don't really like each other, they apparently are quite BM to each other on the beta forums and on the forums in general. Eagle Eye is the Terran blue player in the bottom left corner and this is on Star Station I think, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the map. Um, Eagle Eye did actually send me this replay. He's actually sent me another replay as well for me to cast, so it could be quite a cool, um, some replays that he's sent me. This game is pretty good actually, I was watching it earlier. It isn't from the latest, latest update, but it is pretty cool. Anyway, that um, these two players really dislike each other, let's just say that. Our pro player just going out with his first scouting probe. He's also building a gateway and one gas, going for a pretty standard build. Our town player on the other end, there's no gas, we could be going for some kind of early expansion and a uh, Rax. <laughs> okay, so these guys seem to have made some kind of agreement between themselves. I'm not totally sure what just went on. But it did start out with some quite rude stuff, that's why I put the mature language filter on for those younger viewers who do not want to see the words that they are posting. Scouting Probe is going to go and scout up to our template here. He's going to scout first the SCV now moving out for Eagle Eye. Um, a Cyber Core coming up for our Proto player and a command, an Orbital Command sorry, coming up for our Terran player. The S the Marine should be able to snipe this probe. I'm not too sure if he will or not. And he should be able to just about there we go. So no scouting for any gases here. And there we go. He's putting up his first Command Center expansion. Yes, so you won't get there in time. Adela already moving out for our Protoss player. Two gases coming up immediately after this is dropped. Another Marine is coming out as well, and also dropping that spider before the full wall off. Adela is going to probably try and cut off this SCV scouting here. I'm not too sure, I guess it, or he's actually sent him the wrong way. This is a bit confusing. There he goes, going and go and try and get that SCV. This we won't be able to make it into the main because of the Stalkers coming out. Well, this Stalker has just popped out, and then there's another Stalker on the way after this. You probably won't be able to see any gases or anything for our Protoss player, but he will be able to get a scout of this ramp to see what is up here. There's nothing really up on the top of this ramp. All the gateways up around the Nexus. Zealot and um, Stork is now moving out. The Marine did go and scout over here to check for any proxy stuff. And the Marine's coming back over here. Bunker now being placed at the top of the ramp, and this bunker should be perfectly timed for when this Stork and Zealot come over. The Stork might be able to get a bit ahead. SCV going for a scout again, just to check for a third and going into the natural to see if the natural is coming up anytime soon. Stalker and Zella are actually going to get over here just before the bunker is made. Mothership core number coming out, so our first hot unit is coming out. A factory coming up for our Terran player. Stalker at the bottom of the ramp. Looks like he's going to wait for the Zella, which actually has delayed this thing because he could have gone up there, killed both of these marines by that time, and he's going to actually get into the bunker before he can do anything to this attack whatsoever. So this is a minor kind of setback. He'd actually even lose his out there, and he could actually chase the stalk down the ramp, but he is not going to chase that stalk down the ramp. He could have actually probably got that stalk killed then. Mothership core is out now, gathering some energy up. The Nexus for the Naturals coming out. Two more gateways coming up for our Protoss player. Another stalk is just sitting in the vein. Two stalkers out at the front of the Exonaga Tower. Building a tech lab onto that factory, so you could either see some tanks or just some. There we go, the first tank is coming out now. Marines just popping out of this one racks here and supported. A armor is now coming up, another bunker on the low ground is coming up, but he did actually cancel that bunker. And a stalker is uh, coming across the map for this. Four marines out and the bunker will be finished hopefully in time, but the stalkers are coming in, they're not delaying this time. Looks like it could be some tricky stuff going off trying to hold this off and the and the um SCV does go down, he should probably just engage straight into this and try to get that. Another SCV is coming out, but that SCV is on low health, so one shot by the stalkers. The tank is now out, which will be able to do some damage versus these stalkers very well. The bunker just finished now, gonna be able to pop into that bunker. Tank out as well. He's going to actually be able to pick up near. He's not going to be able to pick up two stalkers, but he picked up one stalker at the cost of one marine. Bunker's on fire, but it is getting repaired by the SUV. Probes out. A robot utility out over there. Transferring SCVs, and there's a bit of lag over here. I don't know really why. Another bunker coming up, just in case of any defence. Twilight Council coming up for our terror for our project player. Sorry. 
pretty standard for both of these guys with some early aggression coming from our Protoss player. Obviously the expansion was up quicker for our Eagle Eye but he didn't actually have it landed quicker. Two Forge coming up as well so it could be some kind of immortal Archon push, I'm not totally sure. Observer coming over here, more tanks we popped out and now there's another Rax, um, another Factory out, sorry, so we could be going into some mech play. Those Battle Helens of course have been upgraded because the armour is out. Plus one attack is coming out for our Terran vehicle weapons as well as Inferno pre Knights, so just get those Blue Flame Hellions rocking and rolling. Northern has got the first two forges up so we could be going for some double upgrades straight away. There we go, the double upgrades are being pumped and the armour is being upgraded with Chrono Boost. Observer now coming out to scout, two tanks now siege as well as a widow mine at the front just in case of any aggression comes in. Widow mines are extremely good now with the um, unstable payload which basically fires a missile straight at the units and it can also detect cloaked units so it can detect this observer. Double Hellions, Inferno Pre Knights is over halfway done now. A starport coming up, plus one is over halfway as well. More tanks coming out and the Hellions walking out soon. Charge is being started, three more gateways as well. Big scan going to reveal exactly what our term, uh, what our protocol is going for. Actually, he could actually still see Colossus coming out of that by the looks of it because he didn't actually get to scout that backwards um, Twilight Council. Four Shorks sitting over here just in case of any drop play. Designed to come out a full wall off, a big wall off actually from our Terran player here just in case of any charge lots decide to come around. These Hellions were trying to get out of the base but obviously they have to, um, they can't actually go out there so they'll probably come over here to try and get down here but there is no way. Missile turret now coming up over here and over here for our pro uh, for our Terran player. Fall off still here. Two bunkers still up. A uh, third um, command sensor is coming up for our Terran player as well as well as a third at the exact same time for our Protoss player, <laughs> which is pretty uh, shows these two players are very high level with the exact timings for their builds. Charge now coming up. It is over ten minutes now, and we still haven't got any engagements going yet. More double gases coming up for our Protoss player. For a turn player, sorry. Battle Helion is now coming out with that awesome look. It, they do look very cool, and they are actually biological now. So they're carrying it healed by Benevax. But of course, that thing where you can put them in the bunkers has been taken out because you could put two Battle Hellions in the bunkers and they would just roast any kind of aggression. And of course, that awesome new look for the Hellions with the red over them, so it looks like the Battle Hellions before they are in. A couple of uh, Zealots and some Immortals out, as well as the Mothership Corps and the Stalkers here. Looks like you want to be going for some kind of wall to stop any Hellion run by here and stick a little gap here, which actually could work quite well versus what the Terran player is going for. He's looking to try and harass with these Hellions and he's going for a Hellion drop, which is pretty cool. And there we go, we have the wall coming up for our Terran player. High Temple now coming in, just to try and probably go into Immortal play. And at the exact same time, these Blizzard Hellions are going to have to be able to break like the mineral line and be able to do quite a bit of damage. And oh, they could actually. This is <laughs> this is not helped at all. These have actually funneled the probes through here, so they've been able to be even more roasted. And if we look at the workers lost, 20 workers killed. Going to get some even more kills for the looks of it. Oh no, he's going to actually back out. Nope, he's going to stay there. 20 workers killed with that drop to lose four four Hellions. That is well, <laughs> that's pretty much a massive advantage for Eagle Eye. Same kind of supplies now, as well. The third command center is up and has been turned into an awful command. More factories have been added on, two more barracks is added on as well, and a ghost academy over here, so we could be going for some ghosts to take out those shields, and then attack the mech. Two of the high templars are still over here, and they could have actually probably feed back to that medevac and possibly even killed it or get it down to very low HP. An Archon coming out now as well. Third is up, not saturated at all though obviously because you have all these workers that were lost over here, and as you can see this is hardly saturated at all, and hardly saturated over here as well. The Northern has now got his Mothership Core in the Purify mode, which obviously this has actually changed from now on. This is the patch before the most recent patch. Dude, you're really bad. Saying the one who's just lost a crap ton of workers. And it does look like this OBS will actually go down because the missile turret over here is nearly finished. Which is actually quite bad for him. And there we go, it's going to go down now. So he's not going to have any vision of what the Terran player is actually doing right now. Obviously you can expect mech though, throughout the entire force. Plus 2 is now finished, it looks like plus 2 plus 2 is just finished completely off now. The first ghost is coming out onto the field so those EMPs will be done. Plus 2 plus, plus 3 plus 3 sorry, coming for our Protoss player and plus it looks like our Terran player's plus 2 attack and plus 1 armor just finishing up now. 
a charge lock did come in and obviously the Wooden Mine was over here. The Wooden Mine exploded and did some AoE damage onto the Hellion as well because it does actually do damage to its own units. Third now up is Saturated for our Progress player. The second natural as well and the third. So the both races are Saturated but if we look at the Income tab it's 61, 62 and the Terran is around uh, 1000 minerals ahead per minute for the Income tab. Which is pretty bad um, all things considered. Battle Hellion is now sitting out in the front, just going to be able to roast away any charge lots that come in from our Protoss player. A rather small army from our Protoss player actually, but these Immortals are going to do a huge amount of damage. Still no sentries, which could be really good for the Guardian Shields, because Guardian Shields obviously do a hell of a lot more. And I think he just scanned and is laughing at the army size for our Protoss player. Four, Stork is still sitting over here just against many drops. They probably could be spread out to two here and two over here, which would have actually prevented that drop from over here incurring an actual go. And as you can see, this is an actual starship, because you can see in the background, it is moving along the galaxy and along the platforms, which is pretty cool graphics, I think, from Blizzard. And also that artwork is pretty cool. This isn't actually in high. Um, this isn't an ultra, which it normally will be, because of the uh, annoying thing that happened, which is the new update wouldn't update properly for me, so it lags like hell, and it continuously tries and updates, but uh, wouldn't update, which is really annoying. Uh, the next has been drop plus three weapons attack and plus two uh, Terran vehicle plating is coming out and is over halfway now. Plus three, plus three nearly finished for our project player. More immortals, a warp prism coming out as well. A load of immortals, a load of uh, archons, and a load of zealots for our Protoss player, which I think Blink would be quite good and be able to blink on top of all these tanks, uh, which soaks up quite a bit of the damage off the charge lots coming and rip it apart. But obviously, these. Um, Battle Hellions will just destroy the charge lots, and they actually are pretty effective versus Storks as well, Battle Hellions. The Archons do just obliterate Battle Hellions because of that biological um, on the um, on the things. Some asking of where they were and what, <laughs> and Eagle Eye does say bronze. Some more BM coming out from our <laughs> two players. Mr. Turton are going up as well, and the Battle Hellions have spotted a thing over here a pylon and it looks like there's going to be our first engagement, proper engagement here. These tanks are unseized so it could be a proper proper good time for our Protoss player over here engagement. These ghosts have full EMP as well so a load of charge lots actually coming here now and this is a pretty bad engagement for our Terran player because he needs to have a full surround and all these tanks are going to rip this army apart by the looks of it. I know those zealots dying straight away to those battle hellions a massive amount of EMP as well, and that's going to rip part of that Terran army as well. All these, I mean, rip part of the Protoss army, sorry, with all these tanks here. And la 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 la, coming out from our uh, Terran player, and he should actually probably push out and get this expansion dead over here. And Northern seems to be a bit annoyed by the fact that he was just trying to um, insult the Terran player about how bad he was, and his army just got ripped to pieces. Load of zealots coming over here, but of course, those battle hands will just actually destroy those zealots if they try and engage that. So this just to set this expansion, and of course the fourth, the fifth base, and the sixth base, and there's another base coming up for our Protoss player. So looks like he's going to push the disadvantage in even more. A load of storks actually coming up here, and they have got blinks. So they're going to be able to blink on top of this army, which will be pretty good for the Protoss player. But obviously he actually missed the blink there, and he did actually he should have blinked right on top of them to actually do as much damage as possible. But this is pretty much GG for our Terran player, unless the I mean for our Protoss player, sorry, unless the Protoss player can magically survive. This would have mine alone wouldn't mind going in and he's gonna be able to burrow, so if these zealots do actually move out, they're just gonna die to this wind of mine. And they are gonna have to move out over here. And these battle hellions still they do a load of damage versus these um, uh, zealots. And obviously those zealots just, just, just die to all those forces over there. More temple I've been walked in, he is trying to save his face. And it is pretty much GG here. And he didn't I don't think he actually knew about the upgrade. Um, for the first player, but for the Terran player, it's actually, yeah, the Archons should have uh, gone first and be able to rip apart those uh, Battle Hellions, then actually brought in the Zealots and tried to kill the um, kill these tanks. Nothing going to us. <laughs> well, that's pretty much uh, a bit of raising up from our first player now, and a massive amount of sea tanks right here. This is just like indestructible. From our Protoss player, from our Terran player, sorry. An observer seeing all of this, and that's pretty much GG. Thanks guys for watching this, it's been Child Champ. Please subscribe, rate, and comment, and peace.